it's okay to be afraid. Strength is about overcoming fear, but it doesn't mean you can't acknowledge it. And that fear is healthy. That fear is, is really one of the things that makes us most human because it, it allows us to be vulnerable. All those things that we're afraid of, are we wouldn't be afraid of them if we didn't have a stake in them. We wouldn't be afraid of being rejected by somebody if we didn't want their love so badly. Like, it's important to acknowledge that fear. It's important to own it. Doesn't mean you let it cripple you by any means. You just own it. Think big, work hard, have a dream. And I added to make a difference. Hopefully, you can make a difference. And when I saw people laughing and I could take them away from the craziness that was happening in the world for two hours, that's when I said to myself, this is what I want to do. I want to make a difference. I want to be able to take people away from their problems and their troubles and take them to a different place. And hopefully I've done that. It's the same class on wrongful convictions that, that once changed my life and turned me on to this problem. So I'm honored to work with the next generation of lawyers every day who are just as inspired by our clients and, and their stories as I was back in the day. Dear Sean, I am your resilience and this is what I want you to know. And then you just give yourself credit for everything that you have lived through, that you have overcome, the times that you stood back up and you went again and you kept showing up because so often we really are doing extraordinary things, but we don't ever take time to give ourselves credit for them. So there is incredible power in just acknowledging what you have lived through and allowing it to make you feel strong enough to keep going. You know, I think purity is important in a man, in in an artist. And and Wu Tang, we've always strived to be pure. We we, we we tell it as we see it. We're honest about it. We we're honest about our ugliness and our beauty. We all have our own ideas and perceptions and experiences and agendas. All we can do as creative individuals is to take in as much as we possibly can of what's around us and to try and turn that into little creative offerings and hope that there is something in what you've observed that is useful to another person. To me, it's the best way to get is to give first. So really boldly being of service to others and yeah, thinking about what you can do to give to other people without the expectation of anything in return.